Hi, my name is Ferd Neiman. I'm the CEO of Third Four Properties. This is a company I founded with my father back in 2008. And my dad and I, we really started off in residential housing. We did student housing, a lot of single family. But in the last few years, we've really focused on manufactured housing or mobile home parks, as they're more often called. And one of our goals with this video is to tell you a little bit more about our story and how we help preserve affordable housing, how we are converting these, quote, trailer parks into quality affordable housing, quality mobile home parks. We recently acquired 153 site community in Marshalltown, Iowa. And I'm going to walk you through this video of some of the work we did in just a couple of days. We had about 35 people there and we got a ton done in the first couple of weeks. We have many years to go. We want to tell our story to you, city officials, our lenders, our investors, and all of the people we work with, just to give you a better idea of what we do and why we think it's important. So I'm going to play this video here and you'll get to see an aerial of this community. And this is us having a staff meeting. That's Juan, our head of construction. And he's uh, working with me to get a project plan together for the week for our crews. Here's the entryway. You can see the old masonry wall. We got that painted. There's a mailbox hut. We got the guys putting in uh, concrete there for a picnic area and covered shelter, uh, unloading lots of uh, fencing. You'll see more of that here in a little bit. Um, team effort, many hands make light work. There's my dad directing traffic on uh, unloading this playground. We put in nice playgrounds in all of our communities, uh, well, at least if there's room, mostly there is room. Here we've got a sun shelter, playground, uh, new signs you'll see in a minute. Uh, added some swings there recently as well. This was just dirt before. Uh, obviously a much nicer area for the kids to play, adults to have some time together. That's our CFO, Logan, hanging this sign. He did, he did an okay job, I think. That's our signage we typically use for all of our communities. You can see we put in these decorative fences and mulch and gravel, rose bushes we buy by the dozen. Here I am using the uh, skid steer to dig some holes uh, for these corner fencing. Just really add some decor, a sense of home. You can see it looks nice. We had speed bumps. You see some there. I'm a big fan of speed bumps because they work. Uh, they slow people down. Uh, here we're painting the office. This has got an office with an apartment above it. Here we've got a crew of guys uh, putting in some fencing and unloading supplies for a dog park. We really like um, having a pet friendly environment, something that sets us apart from some of our competitors as well. We allow you to have pets. We allow any breed actually. Um, they're very pet friendly. And there's some guys unloading more speed bumps. There's a small park, small dog park and a large dog park there. We keep them separate uh, just for size of dogs. We're gonna put a pickleball court there soon on the concrete as well, next to that grilling area, sun shelter. As you can see from the aerial, lots of vacant lots, room for more affordable housing. This is a garage that has been on site and falling over. You could almost push it over. We had a demo here. Um, it's been that good for five years. Basically, we come in the first couple of days and we demo the homes that are not salvageable. Um, we cut down the trees. This, there's some of our guys loading up some debris from trees. Um, this park was hit by a tornado previously, the ratio storm. There were dead trees everywhere. There's a guy that's pretty bold climbing these things, but um, just knocking down dead trees is, is crucial to safety, you know, avoiding lawsuits, which is something important to me as a lawyer, but also just changing the, the look of a community that just in the first couple of days, we took down, I don't know, 60 or 70 trees. There's Juan and Sebastian, uh, I guess they're supervising something around. Vilma really helped out a lot on this project, made meals for the guys. Um, we had three meals a day provided, which was really helpful to keep guys nourished, keep them going. And as you can see, we got a big team. Uh, had a lot of fun on this project. We had many members of our C-suite there, acquisitions team, all of our property management folks. We are involved one way or another. Uh, we give everybody in our company a bonus every time we buy a deal because we think every time we buy a new project, it's more work. Accounting is going to have more work. Customer service is going to have more work. Acquisitions, legal, et cetera. So everybody gets the benefit from it. Everybody gets to be part of this transformation and part of this preservation of another affordable housing community. Appreciate your time. Until next time, thanks and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.